given away. They want to attack at pace. And that is what they do to pass one year one on one with the goalkeeper, sets up the teammates, and then into the back of the net. The visitors take a shock and a lead here. It is Villa who will draw first blood through a man who is returning from suspension, Charles Ranga, like he did in his last appearance against Police FC, will score a goal. The next time he's back here on the field of play, and what a crucial goal it might turn out to be. Yeah, and a brilliant, brilliant counter-attack launch there. Bashir Mutanda has been prayed for that, but maximum credit to Pius Wanji for not being selfish. Michael, another player in Pius Wanji's shoes, you're playing against your former employers, uh, and uh, you look at that. You, you beat, you, he could have be, been selfish and tried to you know, put a, a, a bit of the goalkeeper and score himself, but he, he just picked his head up, located his teammate who came running and following him. I thought it was a well-worked goal. That time it was Habib Kavuma who gave them the lead. But now, how do Vipers respond? That time they needed some magic from Daniel Serunguma at the stroke of half time to actually draw them level. Before Abraham Ndugwa scored a scorpion kick, and then Moses White also scored a wonder free kick. So, Villa might want to actually pay attention to that. They've led some games and given away some points after leading. Let's wait and see. Ball up in the area. Keeper, Namboli. What will happen today? This is a much changed Vipers team, but certainly also a much changed Villa team. Here's the Joker off. Score of focus this season, having an attempt, but flat offside. And the score will remain 1 0 in favor of the Jokos. Right call, it was offside. At the time the ball was kicked, it was offside. I think Alicia did well to keep it. And they have a corner here, and they have an attempt. A goal in the back of the net. They score a second. The goals must be crazy. It is Villa 2. The whole side Vipers nil. Chitende is stunned. Well, this one was from a dead ball situation. A corner kick found an unmarked player. And somehow, pass one again. The man who set up the first goal turns out scorer of the second goal. As Chitende is stunned. But look at all these Vipers defenders. They are there in the box, but they are not marking anyone. I think the basics of defending... Christ has did take a 2 nil lead against them before eventually. And here is another opportunity again. Charles Ranga, scorer of the first goal. Almost large. Uh, on. They are seemingly taking it in their stride. Not showing any signs of panic. Sigimana! And then it's off the woodwork, and the rebound is out. Best chance for Vipers so far. The frame stands in between them and celebrating, pulling a goal back. It was a nice whipped in cross from the new man, Karim Nizigimana. Innocent Wapula rose high up in the air. But the frame denied him, and the rebound was eventually from him again. Now, this is the Karim we know. Michael. Just telling you, this, this Villa team has ever subjected Vipers to a 4 0 derby. But that was way back in 2006. Can there be a repeat of that? Well, you can't rule it out by the way things are going. That time it happened at Nambole, 4 nil then. It was a much different Vipers team. Then captain by Farouk Osama. Of course this one. Having issues dealing with the inverted Pius Wanji. 
Let's see how they themselves respond. It was a, a ball through to Daniel Serukuma from hitting the half hour mark here at the Satine Stadium. This is Tito Okello with his left. Keeper serves Saidi Kenny. Good effort on goal. Navi moment for Villa. And Vipers will win a corner. Quickly taken. Wafula! This is Rafat Semfuka, rather. And now to Wafula. Danger still on. Cleared off the line. What a game. What a moment. Wow. I think the gods of the Jogo. Again, the corner is quick. Oh my god. The pressure is on. Uh, marking space. Villa. Sigimana. Across the face of goal and into the back of the net for Villa to pull one back. Just as we approach the break here, it is Tito Kello with his fifth goal of the season to bring back this Villa's team after a free kick headed back across the face of goal and then stabs it in the back of the net. And now, Villa have rather, Vipers have responded. Again, again, again. We spoke about how the Vipers defense went nothing. The Vipers won this goal. I think here we again, look at Owori. What was he looking like? He was not marking anyone. He knows they should know the players to work. Villa took the lead. They were faked back at the stroke of half time. Now this is the man responsible. That time he didn't score. Now they look like they are back into the big time. How do Villa respond to this sort of pressure? Vipers, I'm sure, won't even take a point here. They want Barara. He's not playing at left back, but that gives way to the man who set up the first goal. This one on the ball, Karim Tigimana. And now we begin another one. And then the man who scored the first goal has an attempt on goal. Saidi Kenny goes down. But the danger is still on. Eventually, out from wise ones. They are enjoying every minute of this particular contest. We warned you. We warned you from the start. As we approach half time, Vipers have pulled the goal back. But Villa still probing. They lead to one. And now! Had an attempt on goal. Fabian Mutombora doing ever so well to read the movement before eventually keeping it and keeping it out of goal. And De Uruanga, a former pillar, is injured. But this was a very good attempt from Charles Ranga, the man who scored their first goal. Brilliant effort there from the youngster. He was almost creeping, but somehow managed to stomp his feet. And the defender cleared off of the line, but the back of the net was already shaken. Wow. I think Villa, uh, Villa need to, 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 to have their prayers. Because if Said Kenny Ke Ke gets injured, I think it will be trouble for them. He's been looking good ever since he joined the team. Their goal saving them on a couple of occasions. Very good on one on one situations. But he doesn't look fit at all. Not looked comfortable throughout the game, and that has been the story of Villa players throughout the season. Brian Buete, the man nicknamed Ziggy, started that tension, returned with the goal, ended with the goal. Now this is Kaliowa, and the goal! The start of the game! For SC Villa and the fourth overall, what a fixture this is turning out to be. Villa restored their two goal cushion. It is starting here in the second half as it started in the first. What a story to write. The free kick was almost not awarded. 
the man who has just come off. The man who has just come on for the goal scorer with a lot of question marks from us here. Has actually stacked it. Was about against the goal scorer for the first goal that came in the eighth minute of the game. And this is Kalsuanga. A man coming from suspension returns with the goal. Ended with the goal. Now this is Kaliowa and the goal! The start of the game for SC Villa and the fourth overall. What a fixture this is turning out to be. Villa restored their two goal cushion. It is starting here in the second half as it started in the first. What a story to write. The free kick was almost not awarded. The man who has just come off, the man who has just come on for the goal scorer with a lot of question marks from us here has actually stacked his claim. Joseph Semuju. We has, thought that was an important goal. How important could this goal be? They need to defend it well. Almost gave the ball away cheaply. They almost gave away cheap goal. Every attack is turning out to be Gary. John Atrico, a man who has just returned from injury, chasing it and seemingly leaving it for the goalkeeper. But the communication was not sufficient. If Joseph Semuju has just scored to give it a 3 nil, but now we could send the player on the score sheet on the defense side. But he misses the chance. Daniel Musei Serunguma, a man who normally rescues this Vipers team, latching on to a long ball from his back line. Well, it is not usual that Daniel Serunguma will miss such, a, such a, an opportunity. But again, if it's not your day in football, I think at times even the basics don't work out for you, do they? But what proved like... The game is still young, literally. It's, be, it's before the hour mark, but now... Charles Ranga, ever running away from Mulondo. I wonder whether even the outstanding Mulondo throughout the season, I wonder whether this could be one of those games to forget for me. Surely is one one to forget. Through passes through, but send it through to the new man. Yaga Miskiza could not find his teammates. And now they'll break away through the hero. This is Mutanda. From a player here. He was turning it the sword against his former employers. But Fabian Motongola. Villa is strictly letting Vipers play all the football. All they are doing is counting. The likes of Halid Ralira, Siki Imana, being the marauding right back there on the ball, will be up forward. And now Moses was with an attempt, but it is same. He scored two goals already this season. Moses Waiswa, one was against this Vipers team. It was a free kick, and the other was against Maroons FC. But this time, no response yet from him. The idea was good, but the execution perhaps could have been better. Faida held Villa to a goal let's draw in the reverse fixture as Innocent Wafula whips in one. But it will be out. So Villa will enjoy live television for their two successive games. Not one to underrate. That's on Tuesday. And then we turn on Wednesday with KCCA, who have Vipers rival probably biggest rivals to the title up against Pool FC the lead and still on the ball Mutanda then well he wants to join into the party he doesn't care where he has a go at this was about 40 yards out he had a go at it he almost scores in every Villa game and this is the sort of confidence to join in the party. Bashil Mutanda, former player also here. 
But now the reverse is happening the other side. This is a man who has had troubles with uh, injury and now he goes down. And the Villa fans won't be happy. There'll be some pensive faces there as Diego Amiskiza somehow wanted to join in. The header from Daniel Seruku, when you wonder whether he wanted to set it up for Amiskiza or he wanted a bouncing header into the net or he just failed to connect with it cleanly. Well, I thought he could have tried to control it. Because man in the spotlight now. The Villa media officer, rather the Vipers media officer, Kenneth Mwanga, the face tells, says everything. Celebrations will go beyond here for the team in blue. And the referee will ensure that will be it here where history has been rewritten in this grudge match where the visitors at NC Villa who came here trailing Vipers by all of 22 points have caused cosplay the biggest shock of the Star Times Uganda Premier League condemning Vipers to their first loss in 34 games